go to the tools panel and select one of the shapes. I'm going to go with the ellipse tool and set it to a color. You could go with any color. I'm just going to go with pink and create a shape. Now you can distort this. You can, if you want, go to layer and down to rasterize and rasterize it beforehand. Perfectly reasonable. You can also just rasterize it via filters and go down to distort and twirl. And you can use other ones, of course, create all kinds of unique designs. But I'm just going to go with twirl. And you can see what happens. You generate this design and you can twirl it in numerous ways. So you create that sort of design. Now, you don't have to start with that design I had. You could actually create with maybe a more circular design. Exactly the same as before. Go to filters and distort and twirl. So twirl. Here's the panel. Got the panel here and you've got angle and radius. And you can manipulate those beforehand or simply just see the result of it first. And you've got that, which I think is what I really want. Something maybe like that. A variety of different designs can be created, but you can always tweak the angle and you can see that will change that design and also modify the radius, maybe make it less. And of course, then you can see more of the circle remaining or increase it to that point. I'm just going to go with about there and apply. So I've got that design and this time I can just then manipulate it a bit more, maybe decrease the size. And you'll notice there's a pixel layer. And there's a pixel layer, I can go to the brushes. Now I've got lots of other brushes here. And you can find the brushes panel in the studio menu. So go to view and studio and brushes. Got all these brushes here. Well, obviously the ones at the top, these ones I've created. What you do, just go to the right side menu here and you go down here, new brush from selection. So it does need to be selected. If it's not selected, it will not work. So make certain it's selected. You can see it selected there in the layers panel. So right side and new brush from selection. And this design can be anything. It could be text, could be other shapes, combinations of shapes, images. It could be a photo you've distorted, modified. You can make it a brush. New brush from selection. And you can see straight away you've got your design down there. Now you can remove it, just delete it, or simply go over here to the layers. And that's probably better because you can always reuse it later. And you can just deselect it. So now it's still there, but it's just not being used. Just go over here and you've got paintbrush tool. So paintbrush tool. And you can set symmetry. You've got long control bar. You can modify the size, select the brush that you want to use. So I've got ones earlier I created. But select that brush and you can always double click and you can tweak it. Change the size, modify the spacing if you want. And you can see the design there. I think that would be a perfectly reasonable brush anyway. But what you can do, you can go to symmetry. So turn symmetry on, just along the control bar. This panel will appear while you select this. If you go off, it'll be a different set of controls. And you don't have to have, go with 7. Let's just go with a bit more maybe 10, up to you. And then you can apply it. You've also got other options, mirror, it's another one that's pretty good. And also I'd suggest using lock. Lock makes certain you don't accidentally change it. And then you can apply the brush. And you can see as you move it around, you'll see the design you're gonna get. Now you could just simply apply it or click, but I think let's just move that backwards and forwards until you're happy with the design. Now it does vanish mysteriously when I'm, the mouse isn't moving, but while you're moving the mouse slightly, you will get that design. And I think just about there, so click, and you've got your design. Now it's a layer, exactly the same as this layer, and as a layer you can apply effects. So you can just go here to the layers panel, view menu, studio and layers, go down to the bottom and click effects. And you've got a number of options. Now, quite often the default will be Gaussian Blur. I don't know why they put that one at the top. But I like Outer Shadow. Just go with Outer Shadow. And you can set the radius and offset the intensity. And then you get a lovely shadow effect. Also, you can go with, say, Bevel and Boss. So a lovely Bevel and Boss effect there. 
This time I'm using pillow, but you can use emboss. Just try them out. Modify the soften, increase. Also, you can change the direction. You can move it around and create a variety of different. Now, it takes a few seconds just to set itself. It does seem to uh, sort of ponder about it and just change. Just subtle changes will make it think about it for a sec. There it is. I'm going to go with that and click close. And that design, I think it's quite a nice design to finish. But what you can do, you can, of course, it's a layer, hold down the ultra option key and duplicate and resize. Just resize it and you can make all kinds of combinations just using that again. Hold down the ultra option key and that's the key thing on the keyboard. Or you can use the layer menu and just go there and duplicate. That's another option. And you can see you can build up then a complex design like that. And you can select all of them. So all can be selected in the layers panel, right click and you can group them all into one single group. Now what you can also do, and I've got this design here, which that's why I didn't get rid of it. So I've got this design here. I can recolor it. Now unfortunately, it's not the best application I think for color, personally. I mean, it's got lots of color features, nothing wrong with it. I mean, there is some great, but there's no, you go to filters and colors, but it's really not just your basic operation to modify the color in a very simple way. You might not want to use adjustment layers because you can do it, layer, go down here, new adjustment layer. It just adds additional complexity to it, which of course, but you can tweak it later on. That's the great thing about the adjustment layers. You might want to just create, so duplicate this one. So hold down the ultra option key again and duplicate. And then maybe move it, just offset it slightly. But now to recover that, again, you could use adjustments, but a great option, I always find very quick one, Filters and apply image. Apply image. I know it doesn't seem like it's particularly a great way of doing it, but this has got a few color features that are really great. And you can go here. So layers, use current layer resource. Obviously I've got that selected. So use current layer resource, and that's what it's doing. Always make certain it is being selected. And then you go to equations, just down here. And you can see now you've got this option of SR. I mean, it's not particularly obvious what you need to do, but what you can do, if you want it, say, slightly more red or slightly less, just go SR minus 0.2. And you can see then you will create changes in the color. So SG minus or plus 0.3. And you can tweak it. It's not particularly super flexible. It'd be nice if there was sort of sliders, you could manipulate the colors in a more convenient way, but you can manipulate the colors this way. So once you've changed color, and I just want just a subtle change to the color, you can also got blend modes. You can run through the blend modes as well. So you might think, oh, you know what? Linear burn. Just try them out. Or maybe this one, exclusion, and apply. So you've got now a different color design. You can select both of them. You can see both selected there, and you can go to layer, and you can go layer and merge selected. You don't have to, of course, you can group them and then use rasterize. But merge selected just is quite good. And now, unfortunately, you've lost the original design, so you might want to duplicate those before you do this. It's perfectly reasonable. So you've got this now, this more slightly complicated design, not vastly complicated, but you can see now it's still a pixel layer. And that's the key thing, pixel layer. You can go to the brushes panel, just go over here and right side menu, and new brush from selection. So new brush from selection. And now you've got this design. Select the brush in the brushes panel. With that selected, go to the paintbrush tool. And with that selected, you can see all the various control panel options. Go for symmetry and you can change it. You don't have to go with mirror. You don't have to go with lock. Tweak it in heart's content. I'm gonna go with 14. And you can hover over here. Now, for some weird reason, it doesn't preview. Click it once, and then once you've done that, and undo, then it previews. I am not certain why that happens, but it does seem to be the way it works. Now, maybe someone could put a comment, please, about how that works or not works. And you can see the design there. Now, you might think, you know what? That's not exactly what I want. 
And unfortunately, because that's the way the brush is, is fixed, you can't change it. The only thing you can change is double click on it and then you can go and modify the rotation. But that won't bring the pink in front of the green and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's just not going to happen. If you want to, you of course can save multiple different brushes. Obviously, I just saved one. But you could, of course, just change the order of the shapes and then save that as a brush. Doesn't need to be saved just in that particular order or in those position, actual positions. So you can move that around, change that, and then close. And now you can see this design instead. And I think that looks quite nice. Now, if I just stop for a few seconds, it does go, but just move it again, and there it is. And then just click, and you've got the design, which I think is quite nice. Very, I think, 1970s sort of style, certainly for myself anyway. Maybe other people will turn around and say, no, that's more 60s, more 80s, I don't know. So you've got this design. Now it's exactly the same as before. It's a layer. And as a layer, you can always just manipulate it. Go here to the layers panel. And you can go to effects down the bottom. Click there. Go to bevel emboss. And you can change that. Just tweak it. Go here and you can say outer shadow. Just tweak that. Create a variety of different designs. Something like that. You might not like it. If you don't like it, don't have to do it. Just simply deselect that and just go with the bevel emboss. Maybe combine with 3D as well. A whole variety of different designs can be created using layer effects. And close it. And again, hold down the ultra option key and duplicate. And then you can resize it if you want to. And you can duplicate it again. Now you could use power transforms. Control J. Just use that. That's a perfectly reasonable option as well. So you can create literally thousands and thousands of designs using this approach. Now, of course, this design itself can also be saved as a brush. So if you want to, just use this as a brush as well. Now, if you want to use it as a brush, I would recommend go to Layer and then a Rasterize. Because then you'll get the special effects, the layer effects. So Preserve Layer Effects, turn that off. And that's the key thing. Make certain you click that. Make certain that is not on, and then rasterize. Now you've got the layer effects, it's all become one pixel layer. Same as before, right click and new brush from section. And you can save it. Then remove that, and again, go over here, paintbrush tool. Now at this point, this one will be messy if you use a symmetry. So I'm just going to turn that off. Simply select there, and you can see design there, and apply. And you can apply it multiple times. Or use it as a pattern layer. It's another option. Always go to layer and new pattern layer from selection and you can create pattern design or anything else. You can use the brushes in countless ways, deform them, use filter effects. You can always go to filters and blur, use any of the blur effects or distort and deform just to distort the design. Maybe make a design, just add some handles around the edge just very quickly. Just add them around and you can do it in a variety of different ways. That's the great powerful thing of this deform. And you can then manipulate that design. Just do that. It's always a pity that there's no cancel or clear. I would love to see that feature. Now you can undo, but it would be nice if there was a quick clear feature. Because you can also put them inside to create again a different sort of design. So you can distort it in other ways. Don't have to distort it in exactly the same way each and every time. And of course, that, click apply, can be saved as a brush stroke as well. And you can literally create thousands of combinations using this variation of this design, using the symmetry brushes and other effects. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.